Travis Graham's sentence comes after emotional testimony from his victim's wife, father, and daughter, as well as emotional testimony from his own father. He was such an important part of our family. This is and not just our family, but our extended family. Larry Dyer is talking about his son, Randy. In June of last year, court records show Travis Graham was chasing Brandon Dyer and Jonathan Colt Moore with a shotgun over a property dispute. Randy Dyer hit Graham with his vehicle to protect his son, Brandon, and his friend. Graham then shot Randy in the back of the head, killing him. He should actually be in prison for the rest of his life. There should not have been a plea bargain. As we revealed last month, the memo shows Lafayette County Prosecutor Kristen Ellis was not satisfied with the Odessa Police Department's investigation of Dyer's homicide. It states an officer failed to conduct follow-up interviews with key witnesses who were ready to help. Ellison Court called it a confusing case. Dyer's family believes the Odessa Police Department's poor investigation contributed to that confusion. They didn't investigate it. They had no control over the evidence. On Monday, a Lafayette County judge gave Graham the maximum sentence of 15 years for voluntary manslaughter, much different than the life in prison he faced on his original charge of second-degree murder. I've seen some of the paperwork. They weren't signed. They weren't dated. If Travis Graham completes his entire 15-year sentence, he will be the same age as 52-year-old Randy Dyer when he was shot and killed. At the Lafayette County Courthouse in Lexington, I'm investigator Andy Alcock, 41 Action News.